But I just thought, it's just, I don't know why, it just feels like a little, great little thing. Look, I'm going to sign it. Like, uh, on the front. Maybe in a smaller pen, but I'll try. Look at that. How can you not like that? So the project is called The Beautiful Paintings and it's a new project that I'm doing with Henny and it's based on my spin paintings. What happens if you want to buy one is you first of all go on the website and you get a dashboard comes up which gives you lots of options. You get an option of 252 colours which have all got titles which are learnt through machine learning from loads and loads and loads of colours so it's generated its own titles for the colours and of those you, can, you have to choose a minimum of two and a maximum of 12 colours. And after that, you get an option of 25 styles. And I've named all the styles, and they're all very different spin images. They've all got names like Vortex, Explosion, Galaxy. The whole process took around about a year, working with the Henny data team. Everybody has ideas of what they could look like, and then at the same time, things are happening that, you know, don't happen in the physical world. I was, you know, I'm actually going in and showing them real spin paintings as well and saying, what about this effect? And what about that effect? And then pained expressions and coming back. You know, because it's generative, you're not, you're not copying spin paintings, you're creating something else. On the dashboard, it gives you examples. So you see an example of every style, an example of all the colours, you see the colours. When you get to that point, you have to choose a square or a circle. And then once you've made all those decisions, you click generate and then it gives you a painting with the title. The title of the style as well, which comes before painting. So it'll be like beautiful, hairy, obnoxious vortex painting or something like that. And it gives you between four and 15 words. And then once you've got that, you've got to decide whether or not you want either one of three things. So you get like an NFT, that's one option. You get a physical, that's your second option, or you can get an NFT and a physical, so you get both. And if you get an NFT and a physical, that's the only way you, two of this image can exist in, at the same time. Apart from that, whatever you choose, you can only have one, because they, they're all unique, because I think that's the whole nature of spin paintings, I want everything to be unique. If you want a physical, there's then more options which are to do with size. So you've already chosen circle or square, but in circle and square, there are four sizes. 23 centimetres, 40 centimetres, 70 centimetres and 100 centimetres. It's printed on canvas, high quality canvas, and then it's stretched onto a stretcher. I consider them paintings, but they're made with a printing technique. And then I sign them all on the front in different colored pen. So we've generated that and I've stretched it to see how it works. So if you look at the back of it, it's, it's on canvas and it's stretched. The image that you make is the one that stops at the edge. We generate an extra bit for the stretching so that it goes around the edge. So you don't lose any of the painting when uh, that's the idea. So that's the image that you choose and it's extended to give you a bit extra. Um, but I, you know, I thought about it, we could have a white edge or a black edge or a colored edge, but I just really like it that the image, you know, when you make a spin painting with real paint, it drips down the edge. I mean, I'm always excited by my latest works, but, you know, this project has totally blown my mind and it's like, you know, it's incredibly different. I want to get into people's brains and lay eggs, and there's no better way to do that than having a, you know, a, a, a unique, original artwork on their wall that they're very proud of owning for a price which is reasonable that they think is good. I think that's it. Oh, yeah, wow. Get one. Get two.